Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, hi JJ. Oh, do I have any say in what ads play before the stream? I don't have any say in what ads play. Um, I do have some say in when they play uh, with the ads manager. To be completely honest with you, I have not really even touched that. Um, because I don't really know what would be best. I just kind of let it go. Um, and you know, whatever happens, happens. <laughs> I'm sure uh, someone would educate me away from that, but they'd also probably educate me away from playing an extremely obscure Yu-Gi-Oh! Game Boy Advance game, but here I am, <laughs> and I'm excited to be here. Uh, here we have our Target Week um, screen, and let's see. Let's see who we have to fight. It usually, usually just plays right when you log into the stream, which works. Yeah, I know some people... Oh, it was for a scary movie. If I had a choice, it would not be for a scary movie. I do not like scary movies. Um, but, uh, yeah, I know some people say... Ooh, Kaiba's one of our targets. And Rex Raptor, pretty easy. Um, I know a lot of people say that you shouldn't have the ad right before... Like, right when they log into your um, stream. But I actually don't mind it. I feel like it's good to just kind of get it out of the way. Uh, rather than have to, like, potentially worry about it. Okay, so we are looking for Rex. Hey, what's up, Brody? Thanks for the Lugia, Lugia face. Um, so here, um, I'm, like... I remember, ooh, I always liked this card's art. I thought it was a cool little elf lady. Um, I, uh, I'm kind of done predicting when the finale's gonna be. I know I put finale, question mark, question mark, question mark on there. But it's just like, I don't know, man. It just depends on when we find that last guy. And I've tried to cheese it the past couple times, but I so far have been unable to. Which is okay. You know. We're making it happen. Um, and we're just starting with a nice, nice little duel against Rex Raptor. Um, he is not... Hello, Dark Something! I did not see everything, but thank you for following. I appreciate you. Um, oh, perfect. Perfect first play. We gonna snag that. And you are gonna become our new Summon Skull. Ooh, Dark Signer or Signer Carly. Hello, Yu-Gi-Oh! Five Ds. Um, so I don't Signer. <laughs> Thank you. Um, um, yeah. Sometimes I just on the fly really read things wrong. Um, but uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Five Ds. I don't really know anything about that. I, um. I stopped playing the game and watching the anime kind of around, like, you know, the end of the Yugi Kaiba stuff. Really, the end of this arc. Um, uh, the end of the Battle City arc was when I kind of stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, so I really am only familiar with, like, the classic classic oh that's a terrible Raigeki to see um only familiar with like the very classic cards emissary from the house of wax that sounds familiar was that in an older set um okay so we're not doing great now um i'm probably just gonna chill and save my dark hole for next turn okay it'll only destroy a skull servant but what can we do um, oh, it's one of the cards from this year. How about that? Um, interesting that that sounds so familiar to me, though. Um, so, okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to use this here Dark Hole. And then I'm just going to play our friend Magician of Faith face down. Um, so that way we can get that Dark Hole back um, if we get into a bind. Um, so are you a big... Um, TCG player, Dark Signer. Do you play the modern Yu-Gi-Oh game? I imagine you do. 
Ooh, change of heart is good as well. Um. Oh, wow. Oh, Dark Signer, help me out. Do I take my Dark Hole or my change of heart from, uh, uh, from my Magician of Faith here? I can't decide what to do. Because both could come in handy. I really just need to draw a card I can play. Uh, change of heart, love it. Oops, wrong button. There we go. Because both are completely amazing cards. Penguin Soldier, you know what? We're gonna roll with it. Um, let's see here. <laughs> We're gonna do this. I got my uh, Axe of Despair here. You have over 6,000 different monster cards? Like in real life? IRL even, you might say? Thanks for joining today, by the way. I really appreciate that. Um, because as far uh, compared to you, I'm a real Yu-Gi-Oh uh, novice. Um, let's see. I I certainly don't have that many cards. I do I do have a lot of the cards that I. Oh, you just collect the cards. You're not a player. Oh, that's cool. Um, I collect some old school Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Um, I have pretty much I have pretty much everything that I have wanted. Uh, let's pick up a relinquished pack. Delinquent Duo. This is an interesting card. Pay 1,000 life points, randomly select, and discard one card from your opponent's hand. And then they have to select another card to discard from their hand. So that's a pretty cool card. I don't know... I don't know if we're going to use that. Yes, I am playing Worldwide Edition. Thank you for noticing. I would have put that in my description, but the last time that I played... Um... It did not have it as an option to be like the the category that I'm playing in on Twitch. Um, all right, so we want to try to fight Kaiba for Target Week, um, but let's do this first. Um, yeah, and I don't know why. I don't know if they just like took it off or what. Um, okay, so if we fight Mokuba, Kaiba should come in here. Yes, there we go. Um, yes, that's what I'm saying. Um, usually, if you pick the opposite, you will fight the other one. Because I think we've we've kind of, like, done all the interactions of that. Like, I know, like, Joey and Mai, you can have that situation. Um, oh, great. Love, I'm so excited. <laughs> You know, I actually learned from somebody... Oh, that sucks. Um, I actually learned from somebody last stream that apparently... I don't know if this is exactly true. Um, you know what? I'm going to Harpy's Feather Duster you, homie. Um, there we go. Uh, like I said, apparently... Crush card works in this game. I always thought Crush card didn't work at all, but apparently the text is just wrong. So you can still actually play the card. You would just never know how to. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he's just gonna end his phase. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's get this seven-colored fish going in here. Get some direct damage going. Lovely. Really looking forward to a nice, a nice, cold, hard Raigeki right now. This is very interesting. Not expecting to see that right now. Let's just, let's just go for it. Let's see. Ah, so he used Crush Card with the Dragon Piper. That's interesting. I actually didn't realize that. Well, the first season of the anime is filled with a bunch of crazy stuff. 
That is not how the game works at all. Speaking of which, that was the weirdest duel in the entire world. Kaiba just didn't do anything. That was very strange. I don't think I've ever seen a duel against Kaiba like that. Um, that brings our record to 73 and 11. By the way, let's grab that gold. Ah, skull dice, nice. Bolt Escargo, look at that guy. Just a stupid looking snail. Kaiba is just salty, you're not wrong about that. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do now. I am gonna try to, uh, I'm gonna try to cheese out the, the last OCG only, what does that mean? Um, does that mean like original? Or do I just not know what's going on? Um, oh, not in English yet. Oh, how about that? Yeah, and I know, yeah, there were some cards in this game that I knew like so heavily from this game. Official card game. Oh, okay, I got you. Thank you. I'm learning so much. Because, like I said, all things considered, I don't know that much about Yu-Gi-Oh. I know a lot about this game <laughs> and um, uh, just some of the classic stuff. So as you can see, I'm just talking to some passengers here. All right, this we got our urgent announcement. We are still waiting for our final... Um, happy Monday, Lock Test. Thank you for being here. So we're still looking for our final rare hunter. I am crossing my fingers that we find them today. Because if we find them and defeat them right now, if that happens, we will trigger the end of the game. All right, let's hunt them. I love that. I love that, Dark Signer. I guess I could just call you Carly. Um, all right. All right, here it is. Please. Please, I'm not even seeing what they're saying right now. I saw the text box, like, go to the left, and I'm like, dang it, it's Loomis and Umbra. Gosh, dang it. Ugh, oh, guys. Alright, I'm still gonna go for it, though. I don't even care. I know I said I wasn't doing it, but we're gonna try. Um, excuse me. Oh, in the Abridged series, they talk about the moon. Interesting. Um, alright, we'll just pause there. Um... Oh, that's fine. We'll save that mirror force. Oh, wow. Are they really? Um, that's so interesting. I actually don't know that much about Aqua Teen, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Um, let's see what we got here. We'll play you. You know, I'm going to try my chances attacking that face down with the, our Dark Soldier, just because I'm feeling frisky. Ah, oh, a tie. No harm, no foul. Oh, and here's that trap hole. Thank you. Mm-mm. Death Guardius is not in this game. Um, because when I recall the battle with them in the anime, or the duel with them, rather. Um, I always remember the Masked Beast, and that is in this game. Um, but uh, then I kind of, I mean, not recently, maybe two years ago, I rewatched some old Yu-Gi-Oh! episodes, and I then I remembered uh, Masked Beast Death Guardius that they had. Um, uh, it is not, unfortunately. Um... Oh, I feel like there are a few cards that I wanted to be in this game that weren't. Um, ah, oh, you know what? We'll just pop our Mirror Force and say goodbye to Vorse Raider as well. Alright, so this is this is an absolute beatdown. Um, we've had a couple of these this episode. Um, 
Carly, interesting question. Um, do you have a favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card? Specifically, give me a favorite... Uh, enjoy all the sweet rare cards, that's right. Like, a, give me a favorite classic card. Because those are really the only ones I know. Um, funny enough, Jinzo is my favorite card. Jinzo and um, Black Luster Soldier. Those are my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh cards. It is cool that we have a Blue Eyes Ultimate. We're never, probably never going to use it. Um, Alright, so we are still hunting. We are still hunting our final rare hunter. <laughs> Dark Magician Girl, you perv. I mean, Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl is, uh, she's a lovely, lovely lady. Um, let's see. Uh, championship. I don't want to do a championship right now. I want to find the last rare hunter. Maiden of the Aqua. Interesting. Um, let me look up what a Maiden of the Aqua looks like. Is that a more modern card? Or am I just not thinking of it? Oh, that's cool. Oh, Aqua Spirit I always really liked. Um, uh, let's see. Do oh, do I have an anime waifu? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, um, I mean, I did just finish Attack on Titan, and I do love Mikasa. I don't know if that counts as a waifu. I don't really know what is the... Uh, What's the word? If there's a hard definition on what a waifu is. Oh, Pharaonic Guardian. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I know Pharaonic Guardian. This does look like a more classic card. Um, very cool. Um, I can't read what the text says, but I'm sure... Does it do something really good? Um, yeah, I always really liked the card Helpamer from Pharaonic Guardian. Um, I don't even remember what it does. I just thought the art was awesome. And someone uses it in Battle City, in the Battle City anime. I think in, like, the final, someone uses it. Um, oh, if she's on the field, the field is treated as Umi. That is cool. Oh, I love that. You can get your tornado wall up there. Um, get Legendary Fisherman going. By Merrick. Okay, that's what that's. I knew it was later. Uh, I actually don't remember how the Battle City arc ends. Technically, I mean, I know they probably win. Um. All right, so we're gonna try to we're gonna try to keep cheese in this. Is that just another championship? I don't care about it. Yugi defeats Merrick in the files. Yeah, I mean, come on. All right, so here's another urgent announcement. Um, Maiden of the Aqua, very cool. Ooh, another card that I love is Dark Sage. Um, what Yugi uses in the, uh, Duelist Kingdom arc. Um, the only rare hunter left, and we have fight, we have fought all of the other ones multiple times. The only one that's left is Rare Hunter. Um, the Exodia guy. Um... Excuse me. All right, so we have another target week. Let's see. Seeker, he's called. I see. Yes, the Exodia guy. Um, Rex and Mako. Someone told me that there'll be, like, a better chance if I, like, challenge someone to a duel and then they, like, interrupt me. I don't know how true that is. Um, all right, we're going to get one now. Come on. Come on. Come on! <sighs> My goodness. My goodness. Well, I know that you can fight the rare hunters, like... I know you can fight the rare hunters, like, at will. Um, after you defeat the game... Oh, I'm so glad that we have Jinzo, um, for 
Odeon. And Heavy Storm, very nice. Um, we'll start with a Penguin Soldier. But, like, you can't do that until the end of the game, so... Um, I forget what my trap card even is. What did I just put down? I really don't remember. Negate attack. Um, sure, I'm fine with that. Ah, uh, yes, I don't even know what those cards do, and from what you're describing, I'm probably glad that I don't know what those cards do. Uh, let's just play a pot of greed. That's fine. I'd rather a magic jammer on a pot of greed. Um, so let's do this. Let's flip our penguin soldier so we can return good old horse raider to his hand. Oop. That is fine. And then we can play our friend Jinzo here. Negate those magic, uh, those trap cards, rather. Now, he can still play some magic cards that could really mess us up, but my hope is that, one, he just doesn't, and... <laughs> okay, okay. That went poorly. Um, okay, so we can still combo with seven colored fish here. Um, but we'll use magic cylinder first, and then we'll use our heavy storm. We're not in terrible shape. Um, <laughs> the Easter bunny and the gummy bears? Oh, that's interesting. Um, all right. So we got a nice, beautiful little that going um okay so let's play our heavy storm hopefully great um and then with our beautiful axe of despair we can get our seven colored fish up and over this here vorse raider i do not know how a fish is wielding a giant axe but i'm i'm not gonna ask questions Oh yeah, his battle theme is awesome. I, I mean, we've... Oh, you've got to be kidding me, man. Okay, I mean, that's fine. I mean, I'm going to try. What we got? I am going to just try. Okay, great. Alright. Okay. Um, let's just attack and see what happens. <laughs> Don't kill me! Great! Perfect. Yeah, Odeon's battle theme is freaking awesome. Um, alright. Oh, there's a blue eyes white dragon. I don't like that art as much. I don't know if this is a controversial take, but I know this art of the blue eyes white dragon is what was in the original Legend of Blue Eyes set. But to me, the superior art is the starter deck Kaiba art. Um, and that was really the one that I think they used in the anime, or at least in the English dub that I watched. But yeah, I prefer the Kaiba starter deck art of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Um, uh, yes, a lot of great stuff. All right, so that does push our record to a nice 75 and 11, unfortunately. It is not against the guy we want. Uh, and see, again, <laughs> this is another great example. This is the Dark Magician art from Legends of Blue Eyes, but I definitely prefer the starter deck Yugi art. I don't know if I'm just more nostalgic for that, because I never pulled those cards out of Legends of Blue Eyes packs as, as a kid. But again, I just prefer the starter deck art. Um, let's see. Yeah, Seeker is still out here. Um, I don't know... Like, straight up, I have I have dueled every rare hunter at least twice. Um, some of them, like, three, four, five times, and we still just have not found Seeker. Um, uh... 
because to my knowledge, he's just going to randomly show up. Oh, I forgot we were supposed to be doing target week. Oh, well. Okay. Um, is there like a part of the city where he's going to show where he's going to be more likely to show up? I don't know if that's the case or not. Um, I feel like maybe I've done less stuff up here at the very top of the city. So maybe I'll just stick up here and see what happens. Um, All right. Mako, you and me are just hanging out a bunch. We got our duelist weeklies. We probably have, we have, ooh, I forgot you could get shadow spell out of one of these. I think I said that in the last episode. Um, shadow spell is a really cool card. That's a Yugi card right there. Um, lovely. Um, yeah, let's keep doing it. All right. We're kind of just alternating this. Yeah, this set of duelists. You have the Mako Truesdale and then the Taya Joey combo. All right. All right. We got our next urgent announcement. Must be like every couple weeks or something. All right. All right, not just yet. All right, I'm gonna try to battle Truesdale and then see if someone kicks him out. Okay, that didn't work. That's okay though. Um, Truesdale should be pretty quick. So let's just see what he's got for now. Oh yes, I will jam that. Um, oh, these are all good, but I'll get rid of my axe. Perfect. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Not a good card, but we'll just combine to just level this fella. There we go. All right. Da -da 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 -da. I'm trusting you, giant rat. There you go. All right, I'm hoping that we can finish this soon. Ah. Yeah, we'll just get our giant soldier out here. I'm pretty sure that was just an 1800 attack monster. Yeah, we're good. We're good to go. Gemini Elf can get over that real easy. And there you have it. I like how we can speed through that pretty quick. All right, 76 and 11. Crazy that we have dueled that many times in this series. Um, what do I want to grab here? Um, let's do the Exodia. No. Oops. Uh, I like Relinquished again. I'm just feeling Relinquished. Uh, Alright. Alright. Alright, folks. This is gonna be the, re this is gonna be the Seeker. This is gonna be it. Are you ready? This is gonna be it. I can't believe it, guys. I really can't believe it. This is really insane. I am like this close to just grinding it off screen and then just having it set up um, 
for when the next Yu-Gi-Oh! stream is. And just doing it and be like, okay. <laughs> ah, yes, crush card. So, apparently, your dark monster, like... Er... Uh, what did the person tell me? The person told me that it has to be on the field or something. Um, or your dark monster has to be also, like, above 1500 or whatever um, for Crush Card to work. That's why it's in my deck. Um, bang. One thing that Strings fortunately does is that he ends up killing himself with his jam breeding machine. And there's that jam breeding machine I spoke of. Um, let's just do Graceful Charity. Get rid of the Black Luster. I'm not likely to play it. Um, let's just do that. All right. Ah, dang it. I messed that up. Oh, well. So I'm about to catch a Raigeki to the face. Oops. Yeah, thanks for that. Oh, I guess his slime token can attack me now. That's funny. Um, that is why I saved Gemini off, honestly. Can I play a trap there? Nope. Yeah, again, I could destroy his jam breeding machine with my mystical space typhoon, but it's just not worth it because he's just gonna give me a clean, free kill. Every single turn. Is one annoying thing about having Mystical Space Typhoon in your deck. I um, guess we'll pick that up. Is that it will constantly ask you to if you want to use it. There we go. All right, at this point, it just kind of feels like you're begging me to attack you. We'll get rid of my giant rat for now. Oh yeah, and this should be enough, right? Just enough, I think. Yeah, there you go. I didn't even notice that. Strings goes down. 77 and 11, 7, 11. 7, 7 and 11. Uh, another Crush card, another Jinzo, another Barrel Dragon. Been there, done that. We're trying to beat the game over here, folks. Um, yeah, because straight up, that might have been like my fifth time dueling strings. Um, Yeah, I, I would say Strings and Odeon I have dueled at least, like, five times. Ah. And I've already won, like, a Challenge Cup. Like, I've dueled Bandit Keith. I've dueled Merrick himself. Um, excuse me. Ah, oh, mock you. This was such a cool Yugi card. Mock you in the... Uh, Duelist Kingdom Season 1 of the anime, it does not work even at all like it does in the anime in real life. 
So I was very disappointed <laughs> when I read its text, but that artwork is incredible, so good. He would say, Makiyu, the magical mist. Oh, wow. All right. Maybe I need to be over here. Okay. All right. I have a theory. I might need to be all the way to the right. Let's try it. Because I was thinking, because this looks like where Yugi fights the Seeker in Battle City. So maybe this is where he shows up. I don't have time for target week, man. I gotta beat this game. Let's do it. Oh, mock you, the magical mist. Just that phrase, just... I'm starting to get into real kind of like tinfoil hat territory with this game. And this game is also not like a well-known game. All right, here's our next urgent announcement. This is not a well-known game. So there's not like as much online guide information as like Pokemon Emerald because that game is so huge. All right, let's see. Come on, come on. Yes! This is our man! This is who we've been looking for. This guy is very scary because he just uses Exodia. That's his entire deck strategy is to just try to get Exodia and beat us that way. So we have to try to defeat him as quick as possible because I really don't want you to see the animation for when someone gets Exodia. It is cool, but I don't want you to see it that means we lose. All right, so after we defeat him, that should trigger kind of like the end boss rush. There's a chance our stream goes a little bit long tonight. We'll see. We will see. I do have to win this duel first, though. Um, oh, I don't love that defensive set to begin. Um, I'll do it. Maybe I can bait him into an attack. Not quite. All right. I should have just not played a monster. And as you're gonna see, all of his cards revolve around like, that's fine. All of his cards revolve around like, finding Exodia pieces and, like, drawing cards from your deck. Um, like, there you will see. He's just kind of, like, working his way through his deck so he can um, find the cards he needs. All right, let's see what we can do here. Gate attack. That's fine. Um... So we do have a magic cylinder in the uh, in the chamber here. Um, I'll get seven colored fish rolling. We got another negate attack. He's stalling. Let's see what we can do here. I would have loved to see Rai Geki there. That would have been incredible. No. We're gonna get we're gonna get offensive. If we can destroy this card without much incident. We'll see. Okay, that's fine. We can get 2600 points of damage here. And again, we are trying to def defeat this fool as quick as possible. Okay. Um. 
All right, I'm gonna hold on to what's in our hand in case this trap card sucks. Okay, that's fine. Um, sure. Might as well negate it. Perfect. If I would have played that other card, we would win. Let's see what happens. Swords of Revealing Light. Oh, that is not good. That is not good, man. Oh. That buys him three turns. Gosh, dang it. Um, I'm nervous, guys. All right. Harpy's Feather Duster, that helps. We'll get rid of that. Um, I'm just going to play Vorse Raider. Alright, let's see what his face down cards are. This could be a little risky. Sangan, that can get him a piece. Okay. I don't want to see another Sangan. Okay. We're fine. All right. So, as you can see, ugh, me, lose my ultimate deck. No, forgive me, Master Merrick. Yeah, that's right, dude. So we get our rare cards. Oh, love red eyes. And now what you're gonna see. Can you give me a minute? So Truesdale is gonna be here. He's just like, have you seen Taya anywhere? Like, we don't know where she is, and Mokuba's just like, someone told me where she was. So something's happened to Taya, and we don't really know what's going on, and this is the end of the game, so we are, we are in the end game now. And if you look here, the music is very scary, Taya has pink-purple eyes, ooh. Ha ha ha, I'm sorry, but I'm borrowing your little friend, she's being mind-controlled by Merrick. Um, so now Taya's gonna take us to the end of the game. And you see this little pyramid here. We have to win one, two, three, four, five duels. We have to win five duels to defeat the game. So let's see if we can do it, gang. Let's see if we can do it. If we can't, we have to defeat all the rare hunters all over again and trigger that cutscene again. So let's hope we can do it. And we have this sick little, like ancient Egyptian backdrop here. Um, all right. Oof. Oh, man. This is hard, man. So, Gravekeeper Servant is terrible. Each time your opponent attacks with a monster, the opponent must send one card from the top of his or her deck to the graveyard. That could hurt us greatly. Um, so, we're going to want to get rid of that. So, I'm actually going to do that right now with our Heavy Storm. That's something that we want to get rid of immediately. Um... And you'll notice Taya's deck's a little bit different um, because she's being mind-controlled by Merrick. Because um, I don't think we have seen Dane Keto, the Cure Master, played against us at all thus far. But she does still have some Taya cards, as you can see, like that one. Ugh, Dark Hole is so annoying. Um, what do I have? Um... Shadow spell works. Okay. All right. 
There we go. So our seven colored fish can destroy this, but as you can see, we have less life points. That are they have more? They have more life points rather, uh, because they played that uh, that card, Dane Keto, the Cure Master. Let's see. Oh, Enchanted Javelin. Okay, so this one's all about increasing their own life points. Um, and here to negate that, oh, I kind of wish I didn't have Crush Card in my deck right now, but that's okay. Um, or can I use it with Karibo? Maybe, we'll see. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of those two Nimble Momongas. Um, so we can hopefully, yes, do some direct damage. As you can see, they are still above 8,000 life points. I really don't love our set, our hand at all right now, but we'll see. I will say the music is absolutely impeccable. I'm gonna hold on to that torrential tribute. Just in case there's a feather duster or something. Ah, needle worm. We're gonna have to discard some cards. Yep. Um, that's tough. Wow, we're definitely gonna go long tonight. Oh boy. I usually wrap up about eight, but that is not gonna happen. <laughs> we got a game to beat, gang. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, with the needle worm. I've discarded many cards now. Okay. Um, I can get rid of just one of those. All right. How many cards do I have left in my deck? I only have 16 cards left in my deck. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Okay, okay. So we have blue eyes here. Thankfully, I do have a mirror force. So I can destroy that. Oh, they pulled that out of our deck. Okay, that's funny. Um... Um, I'll play Karibo. Can I use Crush Card here? I can! Wow, I'm using Crush Card in this game! You have to use a monster, a dark monster whose attack is under a thousand. The card text does not say that. But now I can use Karibo to get rid of all those cards. That is crazy. And the drawn in the next three turns is automatically destroyed. Okay. Okay. There we go. I have never used Crush Card in this game. Oh, that is crazy. All right, so that's Enchanted Javelin. Okay, it looks like we're going to be okay. Because um, I'm pretty positive that Trap Card is that Enchanted Javelin. Yes. And we have enough firepower here to dispatch the mind-controlled Taya. And that's going to bring our record to 79 and 11. All right. So Taya, she starts to come too. She says she remember. oh, Joey's been captured too. So now second in our pyramid ladder, we have to fight Odeon to hopefully get to our friend Joey. All right. Okay, this is just the Odeon music. We have dueled Odeon a bunch of times, so I am not even going to mess around too terribly much with that. Um, 
Yes, and I will bait him into playing his Slate Warrior. There we have it. And I can get rid of one trap card. We'll play our Rocket Warrior. There you have it. Having Fissure in our hand I like, because even though obviously Vorse Raider is going to take care of that, we can get rid of Vorse Raider, hopefully. There we go. Magic Thorn, that works. There we go. All right. All right. What's he got? Ah! Hate it. Okay. Do not a Stark Witch um, isn't bad. I'm going to try. He only has one other trap. Let's see what it is. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Ugh. Okay. We have a deck that's decently equipped to deal with Odeon um, with our Heavy Storm, Jinzo, Harpy's Feather Duster. Um, really, it just comes down to if we're going to draw it or not. Um, and here, I can just kind of wait it out. Um, we'll see what's, what what awaits our seven-colored fish when we attack. Yeah. I figured as much. Trap hole, don't mind that. We'll wait for now. It's a waiting game. If we can just draw Harpy's Feather Duster, we can just pretty much win. Um, all right, we'll just hang on. A magic jammer. Okay, I gotta leave us. I gotta leave us a slot open. Um, I'll just try to fight with Giant Soldier of Stone. Yeah, we don't care if he gets taken care of. Um, all right, we'll chill. All right, so we'll just play our Time Wizard in defense mode. <laughs> Pot of greed. Pot of greed could come in handy. Let's try it. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Um, okay. Um, Karibo, we do have Multiply. So that could come in handy. All right. Hoping that we don't see a Magic Jammer. Let's see. All right. Um. Oh, perfect. All right, so we can get rid of that and we can flip up our friend Time Wizard. And just for a little showmanship, we'll have Summon Skull take that chunk and Time Wizard with its beautiful 500 attack. Deal the final blow. All right, so we're sitting pretty here. Um, should something happen to Master Merrick, I beg you to use your powers to seal the malevolent forces away. Okay, so Odeon thinks he's doing something good here. And now, okay, I think this level of the pyramid is like a random um, rare hunter. I'm actually pretty happy to see Strings. That is fine. Um, strings is not one of the better ones. All right. Now I know we can use Crush Card. So that's, excuse me, that's sick. Um, I have no cards I can play. So let's see how this goes. I drew all of my Tribute Monsters at the same time. Um... I'm going to wait on that in case I need it for a rainy day. All right. That's fine. That gives us a little defense. All right. And here is that rainy day. Perfect. So that gets rid of that. Um... This is amazing. 
I'm gonna get to use Crush Card again. Yes, let's go. So I can tribute Karibo and destroy his summon skull and Serpent Knight Dragon. Oh, so cool. Okay, so if they draw another card um, like that um, in the next three turns, it will also be destroyed. Um, and we're just going to end there. Oh my gosh, guys. This isn't good. Oh my gosh. Guys. I can't believe it. I cannot believe that. Oh my gosh, guys. I cannot believe we lost to Strings. That was unthinkable. I am beside myself. Oh my gosh. Yeah, now we lose. We have to go back. Hey! So now we have to do all of that again. Yep. We have to do all that again. That is just unthinkable. Our record is now 80 and 12. <laughs> I can't believe that. That is more demoralizing than our Battle Frontier loss. I can't believe that. I'm just sitting in silence. Welp. Um, I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do for this series now, because I, I don't want you to have to watch me find all the rare hunters again. That's not very interesting. So what's probably going to end up happening, if I can, kind of like what I'll do with some of my Pokemon streams, is that I'll like grind off screen. I mean, I don't know why I did this. I, I definitely do grind off screen during some of the Pokemon uh, Let's Plays, um, just to kind of bring you more of what the main deal is going to be. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably grind off screen, I'll probably find those rare hunters again, defeat all of them, and then um, once I get to the pyramid again, we can, we can stream. Um, but that was, uh, that was crazy. That was crazy. It just, if one of those cards could have been destroyed by Crush Card, none of them were. They were too weak. I can't... And I had no monsters I could play. Only monsters I could tribute. Only. It was... That was crazy. That was crazy. I can't believe it. I really, really can't believe it. But... Oh, guys. Dark Sign or Carly, thanks for being with us tonight. <laughs> oh, this has been... One of my most harrowing episodes on the channel, I would say, thus far. Um, but I appreciate you tuning in. Um, not next Monday, but the Monday after, we will hope to get our Yu-Gi-Oh! Redemption. Uh, and <laughs> the series lives to, uh, lives to duel another day. Um, with that, happy Monday. My Monday was pretty good. Um, I hope you have a good week, and I will see y'all next time. Peace, kids.